Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game, the longest running series on this channel. And the only one that I kind of keep on forgetting to do, <laughs> apart from the aisle, always get comments about the aisle. Beaver play the aisle, where is it? Well, I'm sorry, they take a long time to do, and if I'm not in the mood to play it, well, I would you really want a, a, a forced video? No, you don't really. <laughs> but anyway, today we're in Jurassic World again. This is the right one you've actually came for and you 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 want to see. So we're gonna. I've I've been sort of putting on the um, Dunkle Moser Lunkelosaurus, whatever it's called. Uh, I've been putting that in its uh, like to incubate it and I think we've got all of them done now as well as uh, creating the higher level one and fusing it. Um, so I just want to have a quick check in here to see if there's anything worthwhile and yeah I guess it's 50 minutes better than nothing. Uh, so we'll tr trade coins for cash still a hundred might as well 300 a day remember guys 300 bucks a day. Why is it not picking me up? There we go. Okay, so 300, we've done that. Um, I have just hatched one actually off screen. I was like, damn it, why? You had like two, two seconds, James. You could have just waited. So I've got a level 11 and then a level 30 here actually ready to use. So, oh, uh, damn it. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that... I've done this about five or six times. And there we go. Finally, the, the time I pay bloody books for it, it's done. Rah! Oh, it's so good. Love it. Well, is that one done? And we've got this one, and of course, it's only halfway. So we've got a level 20, we've got this, this is the level 30. Oh, there you go, so apparently if you spend books on it, it's going to be completed even quicker. So we've never seen a level 30 uh, version of this. Um, so this is going to be, so we've got a level 1, which is quite great. The level 11 is, it's got a little highlight on the bottom, and then a level 21... It gets it all over. Wow, not much of a difference. Not gonna lie. Okay, so don't know how much food we got there. Probably about 800,000. The larger fins of the Dunkleosaurus make it stronger swimmer than the Mosasaurus. Is that true? I mean, obviously. <laughs> We're dealing with cannon here. Um, so I'm wondering, like, I want to... I'll feed these guys up. We'll feed them up. Um, and then we've got to do some events. We've got like an hour left on the Kenrosaur, uh, thing. And still, I, d <laughs> I don't think I'm uploading this the day of, so let's have a look. So we've got one hour, an hour and a half left to shake the earth, and we're quite close. I mean, I would prefer the Kenrosaur, but to be honest, maybe the Evo Pack's better. Two legendaries and that, like a 5,000 bucks, a thousand, sorry, 5,000 DNA, a thousand bucks. And for this one, it's less. It's... <laughs> So you get those, I mean, they're guaranteed, to be fair, so you will get those, and then you might... Uh, is it worth it, the Kentrosaurus? I don't know. I think I might just stay with the, uh, the Dominator League, um, just because I won those Evo prizes, and two guaranteed legendaries, which is basically, uh, DNA. Um, but what is it? Well, on the tides, this is the one. So it seems like throughout all of December, um, there's, like, new hot time discounts. So at the moment, it's VIP Battle Cooldown. 10% uh, off, and if it's a VIP creature, 20% um, off. Oh, it's VIP, VIP ex exclusive battle team cooldown, 20% off. Uh, so we are, we've are we already got here a level... Well, t tell you what, we'll change it to rarity, because that makes more sense. We've got level 21, Dunkleosaurus. Uh, that's kind of a big deal, so what we're going <laughs> to go in here, and we're going to feed it to level 30, mission complete. Ah, oh, yum. Awesome. So that makes it, what, 4,877 health and 2,540 attack. So we'll get you to level uh, 20 as well. 3,199 health, 1,666 attack. All the great white sharks. Endangered species? Yeah, feed them to a mosaur. Oh, who cares? <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll get this level, um, these level 10s up and ready to be incubated. So that is a level 30 and two level 20s, basically. And then if we fuse them to make two level 30s, we can make a level 40 and it'll be maxed up and it'll be the best dinosaur in the game. Well, yeah, it's not a dinosaur. It's, it's an aquatic reptile. Okay. <laughs> uh, so best start is probably a surface. Oh god, it's a mixed bag. It's not really... Oh, this is really tricky. What about this one? 
Ah, that's just land. Okay, nobody cares about that. Right, uh, <laughs> we're going... No! We don't want that one! Also, I've got the Clash of the Titans, but it's super tough. We'll do this one. So, a level 30 Dunkleosaurus. Dunk we'll do that one. Level 20. It is a big jump. 400 extra attack and almost 800. Well, yeah, 800 health. But, we kill it in one hit. Then, Dunkleosaur comes in and kills me in two. So we're gonna need something that can take on Dunkleosaurus in, or at least survive. <laughs> yeah, just a Dunkleosaurus team. Should we just go for a Dunkleosaurus team? Sod it. I kind of want to just go for a Dunkleosaurus team. Where is it? We got level ten. Well, it's not as good as those. Where's level ten? It's got to be better than level ten Mosasaur, right? Two hundred fifty. I'm. Oh no, I fused them. That's right. Okay. Um, so we'll have a throw away, I notice. That's definitely one. Oh, it doesn't kill him straight away. Okay. So he's probably going to switch out. Giving us three and him only one attack. We're going to have three in the next go. Ah, and he does go for it. Okay. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Well, you know what? I'm just going to go for three reserves here. No, there's no need. I'm not worried. Even if we die in two, well, one hit here. Which we do. Oh, great. <laughs> Didn't want that really to happen. Um, but we got six. So, one, two, three, factor in one, and then two block, and he did go for it, so that's good. Run! And that makes uh, level 21 come in, he's got three, he could go for three, ooh. They look so cool. I want more hybrids, though. We've, we've had this for a while, it's time for more. <laughs> Never satisfied. So I'm going to switch in Hinotis, and I'm just going to go for three reserves. Because he has to go for two to kill me. And he's only got four. So... Ooh, ooh a swap. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Ooh, right. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go for that. Four reserves, three blocks. He wastes two and, a, two, and two blocks, so he's got five. Um, oh, he goes for it. Fantastic. We've won. Yay! I don't, I don't know if the prizes are really that worth it. We've used two of our best creatures, so one kills you. One, two, three, and then four reserves. I don't think he had a block. It would suck if he did. Uh, well, there we go with one. Dunkleosaurus versus Dunkleosaurus. Have you guys managed to get this yet? I mean, it's been a long time since we've had aquatic creatures added into the game. Just kind of expensive. Um, oh, there we go. Now we get to see... Oh, wow. <laughs> the animation looks even more broken when it's sped up. Yeah. I love the animations in this. Oh, we got a code red! See, that's what I like about this game. Every now and again, oh, oh, code reds. I still have not had Indoor. Oh, Triceratops! Oh, no! I'm getting better, guys. I'm getting way better. Just you watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna impress you. You'll be like, oh, baby, he's so good. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. It's not those ones I have the problem with. It's the, uh, the bottom thing. Yeah. 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 Oh. I'm so, so good on a guy. <laughs> there you go. Um, so we're get. I mean, you kind of need to do these. Uh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, pro gamer. Pro gamer is I. <laughs> Again? Oh no. Wow, this one's really tough. It should give you way more. Okay, I just need to do one. Just one. Yeah, there we go. And then we got loads of extra DNA. <laughs> 200 DNA, as well as five special Raptor DNA, which is what- So at the moment, we're on 897 in Monolith of Source DNA, and Velociraptor is on 1,102. So we need 900 more uh, Super Raptor DNA in order to get a Indominus Rex, and that is basically level 20 Indominus Rex, which is going to be top three, possibly, uh, of my whole dinosaur roster. A Monolosaurus, we still need 100, what, sorry, 1,100 to get a Monostegatops. And then after that, it'll only be 1,000, so we're slowly working our way there. Uh, we'll jump straight back in here. So we get 20% off the books. Um, so it just depends. What can we do here? Straight away, we can go for Orthocanthus. Um, however, it's not going to be able to kill um, and then we'll have you moon and then a plot of source. I think that should be good enough Oh, oh <laughs> like how all the guns just whoop went away there So I'm gonna go for one reserve just because I know I can't die here even if he does switch out into um, 
Umbongo or whatever it's called. I don't even remember what that thing's called. Right, okay, so he went for a hit. Fair enough. Um, I could have went for three reserves here, actually. But uh, if he does go for two, which he did, I just want to make sure I don't... Um, you know, I've got some leeway here. So uh, I'll go for that and then three reserves, meaning he still can't kill me, and I'm getting up all the reserves possible here. And he switches. There it is. Kawaii, kawaii, ka. I don't want to say what I, <laughs> what I might pronounce it as. Uh, so we'll switch out. Uh, he, he went for one. Uh, one, two, three. And then I think he... Yeah, one block. I think that's enough. Yeah, awesome. Okay, okay. We're playing it fast. We're playing it furious. He's going to go for four, knowing that he can kill me with two. So there it is. You moon dead. Which drops like a log. Uh, brings in the orthocanthus, though. We go for two. And then we go for four reserves. And that that was super quick. I proed it. P -p -p road. I wish I was this good at Jurassic World Alive <laughs> when it comes to the battles. Because <laughs> this is all sort of tight matchup, isn't it? Oh, he, he went for a Gillicus. What was it? Oh my god, that brings back memories. When Gillicus or Gillicus was added into Jurassic Park Builder. Oh, that reminds me, I was going to do a video on Jurassic Park Builder. Uh, because they are stopping the PC support. So on Facebook, you'll only be able to play Jurassic Park Builder. On, um, on, like, uh, mobile devices. You won't be able to play it. Or blue stacks, you know what I mean. But you won't be able to play it on Facebook. I, I didn't even know you could still play it on Facebook. That's, that's crazy. Oh, look at that. It's like it knows that my best dinosaur, or best creature is Jillica. So it's like, ah, just give him all the type advantage. <laughs> uh, so, one. I was kind of wondering, how is Orthocanthus? Two. If I could save books, I would love to. But... Um, we'll do that, and we'll do that, and even then. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can do this without spending any bucks. Wait, I'm an idiot. Why did I... Why did I do that? What, what, why, why did I put reefs in when they came... Oh, no. <laughs> why? <laughs> you idiot, James. Why did I think that? Why did I think that... It, oh, I, I had in my head that reef was... I, I was picking cave when it was actually... Well, there we go. So, we're on five. Could be worse. And um, we can kill him in two. So, one, two. And then... Um, ooh. The next human that comes in has a lot... It's like, what? 20? Oh, he's not dead! Oh, okay. I expected him to die. Uh, goes for three. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah. That means I can go for one. Uh, and then two, and then two. Hopefully we don't die in two hits. Please don't have too much more attack. Ooh, I'm, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm <laughs> alive. Ooh, okay. Ay, 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 ay. Well, I'm going to switch to Chronosaur. Even with my major fudge up, I might be able to still do this. You never know. So he's got six, I think. No, four. Ooh. Oh, yeah, because he went for three, didn't he? So, okay, he's got one block. Or one reserve. However, I have eight. Which means that I can kill him in that many hits. Factor one. And now, if he has five, I don't think Chronosaur can kill me in one. But he could probably kill me in... Oh, there it is. Well, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he can kill me in two. I thought he would have a lot more attack because Chronosaur is kind of a glass cannon. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, my God, guys. We friggin' did it. That was awesome. Whoosh. Beautiful victory. And there we go. So now I, I I feel like on this prize wheel, the the pack comes up quite often. I think it's like 30% chance you might win the pack. And we won the pack. Oh, yeah. So let's see what we got. 200, 200, and a quetzal. Well, DNA and, of course, some loyalty points. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. This is the new thing that's in the game, which isn't technically new, but... Proceratosaurus is in the game. Yes, that's right. The dinosaur from Jurassic World Alive that's been in there from the start has now made its way over to Jurassic World the game. And I'm not too fussed. That's the second dinosaur that's came over from Jurassic World Alive, kind of going backwards in the gaming franchise, towards this one. Um, I'm not bothered. I mean, it, it saves uh, Ludia having to do extra work because they've already made the model. The model looks great anyway. Um, it's just It just costs 50000 <laughs> That's the only letdown. And it's another friggin' carnival. Um, so I kind of do want it, but at the same time, t tell me if you think I should get it. Because 
I, 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 oh, I, I, I mean, it's a new creature, so I kind of do want it. And because it's a, it's a VIP exclusive, um, it's only going to be around for 24 days, and then it's going to be ages till it comes back around. And there's no way to get it. Um, Solar Gold Packs you used to have a chance of getting all of the super good ones, like Pterodactylus and stuff, and they're no longer in here. Um, it was Pterodactylus, Mastodonosaurus. Oh, no, Mastodonosaurus is in there. But there was other dinosaurs. Um, oh, yeah, I do have Byronix Max stuff. But yeah, 50,000 50, is a lot. Um, so I don't know if I really want to do that. So we'll just quickly claim these prices as well as... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, breaking the game. Oh, more, please. So now we're on... Ooh, 40, 1,040 left for Mono Stegatops and... Uh, 835 left for Indoraptor level 20. And that's going to be so good. Level 20 of that. It's going to be awesome. Um, right. So, that's that one done. Uh, hold on. What What is it? Is there a mission for... Finish uh, tournament in Dominator League. Ah, uh, but it's only 10 though. That's the thing. It's only 10. And if I do two, um... Um, alert or what is it code 18 code 13 or whatever it's called then technically i have already got the prize for it i mean i'm missing out on the monostegatops but i don't really care about that uh what are the other ones i mean it's just gonna be regular battle event battle event battle event and then the other one's coming in a day so it kind of does tell you what's coming out um so if we have a look we've got the vip exclusive event we do have the shake the earth what lies beneath is it pretty tough oh god it's really tough and this one there, Pro Ceratosaurus. Should we do this one so we get to see Pro Ceratosaurus level 40? Uh, it's an evil, evil horned beast. Um, right. So, we don't want a herbivore. We kind of just want a carnivore. We just want a team of carnivores because none of them have a weakness. Uh, there's no amphibians there and carnivores strong against Stiggy Moloch and they're neutral to the rest of them. So, we'll have... Ooh, ooh, ooh. What do, what do I like? I like to... Should we try this? Oh, it's risky though very risky. Sod it. Should we see if that, that'll work? Because technically Ceranosaurus has loads more health um, than all of them and has weight like double the attack except for Pro Ceratosaurus. But Pro Ceratosaurus is killed in one hit um, and the others are killed in two. Well actually Stiggy Moloch's killed in one hit. Pro Ceratosaurus is killed in one hit. It's just Pterodactyls. Yeah so let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm excited. <gasps> this is awesome. So easy. So we'll go for one reserve, making sure that he has to go for two, because it's the bot and the way their algorithm is, is, uh, uh they, if they can kill you, they will go for it. Luring them into a false sense of security. So I can go for one reserve and two attacks. Now the reason why I went, haven't gone for a block is because Stinky Moloch's coming out next, he'll switch into Pro Ceratosaurus, meaning he's only got one attack. And even then, uh, if he does go for the one attack, he's left himself wide open. Oh, there he is! Ooh, tell you what, we'll slow down the animation, so at least we get we get a sim. So, it's the same animation as... Ooh, what is that? Is it Dilophosaurus? It's prob it probably is Dilophosaurus. He's made the same sounds as Dilophosaurus. So, one kills him. He did go for the attack, because I've lost health, so he's dead. He switched out. Yep, so one, two, and then maybe one block just in case. Sorry, Pro Stratosaurus, we didn't really get to see much of you. <laughs> Down you go. Looks quite nice though. I guess that's one thing that this game has on Jurassic World Alive is that in this game, if the if the dinosaurs go over from Jurassic World Alive to this game, you get to see a little variation on it. You get to see the level 40 version. Um, so that's Stiggy Moloch done. So this is uh, working our way towards a tournament creature. And if we uh, manage to win this, then we unlock, is it, I think it's Megalosaurus that we're unlocking. Um, so, uh, yeah, everybody was wanting Mosasaurus to come back as a tournament creature, and it did. Uh, there was a quick tournament for it, so everybody who didn't have Mosasaurus finally got it. Um, and what's the next one? Ooh, even easier! Ooh, except for this time, we want a flyer. You want Metrophodon, so you could do the same tactic again. Uh, do that and that and then go back over here. Switch. I don't know why it's frosty. Rarity makes more sense. Uh, that one. And therefore, if we do this super quick, um, yeah, I mean, if you see a team, there can only be three different types. And I don't think that, uh, yeah, so meaning there will always be a type that you can put in that won't be, won't have their weakness. Like, none of them will be strong against you. So, Metrophodon, 
isn't weak to flyer, isn't weak to carnivore, but has the advantage against amphibian. It's weak to herbivore, but there ain't no herbivore in there. So as a rule of thumb, um, this is always the best thing to do, is have your really strong creature be the one that they don't have the advantage on. Ooh, hold on. We, he might do an attack. Oh, he did! And there we, there you go! You get to see in slow motion now! <laughs> so we did go for one. Um, so what I'm going to do here is actually switch to Tijonga Source and go for three reserve. Uh, meaning that he will, I'm hoping, go for one attack. Please, I mean, or at least three. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's way better. Yeah! <laughs> Metrovodon comes in. We're gonna go for one attack. Um, one, two, and... You know, we may as well go for three. And that's us done. Pretty much. Bam! So, I mean, we could probably do this, this tournament or this event all in this video just because we don't have... I mean, we got loads of our creatures back and... Oh, it's a big hit, but I did factor in just in case he did go for full-on attack. And there it is, seven. Just in case you guys want to see it. Um, there you go, there's Metrophodon. Is this a level 40 Metrophodon? I think it is. I think I finally succumbed to it. I was like, well, it's the best creature in the game. It did get a nerf, I think. It had way more attack, but still it's got so much. And it's super expensive. So there you go, there's another 50 DNA. So three more battle events. So here you would want to use not a flyer because a Patasaurus, not a herbivore. You'd use another uh, carnivore. This is the same battle that we did to start with. So you would go for speed, speed up. Put those Dijongasauruses in. Um, now, I don't want to put Udon in just in case. I think if I put Urlophosaurus in, actually, if I put Udon in, he can kill Pterodostro straight away. Um, and he has loads of health. But Urlophosaurus, it's going to be tighter with Urlophosaurus because I don't have the guaranteed kill on any of them in one hit. So let, let's try this. Let's try this one. So same tactic again. We'll go for one reserve. What time is it? What time is it? Hold on. It is... I mean, as we're recording this video, it is quarter to five. So... Oh, I've got, I've got a piano lesson today. <laughs> so he did kill me. Uh, I'm going to go for that. And Pterodostra has like 2,000 attacks. So I'm going to go for uh, one reserve, knowing that two hits can't kill me. Um... He could do like 5,000 damage, but even then, he'll leave himself wide open and the Patasaurus... Oh, there it is! 5,023! So we're going to go for two attack and one reserve and one block. I could have even went for two reserves, um, just because a Patasaurus will have three... <laughs> Actually, I should have. I forgot. I thought he may have had 700 nerf, but no, 700 is normal attack. Um, oh, there we go. So we can kill him in two hits. He had four, went for... Oh no, he only had three, so he only had two block. And out of five, it would still hit him for three and we'd kill him in two. So there we go, Urlophosaurus are victorious. Oh my god, why have they made this easier? You know, after I made the video saying, like, Ludia, it's crazy, these, these dinosaurs are way too high level. I have to use my top three, and even then, I have to be lucky. Um, it looks like they have, like, made the battles fair. I mean, look at this, they're not crazy. They're still pretty high level dinosaurs. And I am having to use my best creatures. As you can see, uh, Metrophodon, Cerizinosaurus, Urlophosaurus, all used. So here, we would want to use a herbivore, which would, in this case, be Segnosuchus or Apatosaurus. But seeing as Apatosaurus is pretty appalling, um, we'll just do the same tactic again. I love this button right here. The switching between weakest and um, strongest dinosaurs. I use that so much. It just, it makes me cry. I think all the amount of times I've scrolled down to find something that was weak. And here we go. Just plop that in there and victory is assured. Pterodactylus dies in one hit. Uh, Postosuchus dies in one hit. And a Apatosaur dies in two hits. So, I mean, I wish I had, a, I mean, uh, Alumbia? Alumbia would have been really good to have had, to, uh, had here. But um, I only have it level 30, I think. And I kind of want to save, like, I've seen Pro Ceratosaurus level 40. It doesn't seem like, ooh, okay. Ooh, did he go, he went for two there, didn't he? Yeah, cheeky, get ye. Oh, he did. Bam. Um, so, yeah, having a level 40 Pro Ceratosaurus wouldn't help me at all. Just because it's another carnivore. It only has, like, 2,500 attack and, like, 3,000 health. 
So there's really no point in me having it. And this guy went for an attack, so I can just, yeah, sod it, just go all out. Bam. I love Sega Suchis' design. I, I'd like it to be elongated even further. It's, it's quite obvious to me, like, coming from an animation background, rigging, modeling, and all that, that... They, I mean, they, there's, there's a rig, and then there's the model, and because the rig's used on the same dinosaurs, basically, I'm sure the game just references the same rig uh, for loads of dinosaurs, um, they can't change the model too much. So it's kind of, it's a bit of a shame, in a way, because I would love to see, like, just a bit of variety, like having Segna Suit just elongated, a bit like a shark, that would look awesome. Uh, so here... We want an amphibian. So Gorgosuchus, oh, they speed them up as well. Switch back. Gorgosuchus is going to be our MVP. Now, it only has a guaranteed kill on Proceratosaurus. Um, so we're going to have to go for two hits to kill Proceratosaurus. One reserve because Proceratosaurus is not going to be able to kill me in two hits. And um, what's that? Metaposaurus? I think it's Metaposaurus. Can't kill me in one hit either. Uh, so one, two, and then one reserve. No point playing it safe. We've pretty much won this. And there we... Oh, wow, we did... It kind of reminds me of, like, um... Ah. Oh, is it the... Oh, it's like they, they have the feathers. It's like some sort of Native American tribe. I don't... I, I don't know the specifics, and I don't be crucified if I say... Iroquois or Sioux, or, you know. But, you know, you know... <laughs> so we're going for one hit, one block, and two reserves. Um, Because he's only going to have three... And I've got six, almost 7,000 health, so there's nothing he can do. Um, Metaposaurus. Oh, he went for one. Oh, he could have went for another one and done actually a fair bit of damage. But we may as well. So that is the tactic. Two really weak dinosaurs. And even if I was in trouble here, I would have just switched into Jongosaurus and just went for loads of reserves. Um, and even then, I don't think there's much they could have done. So Megalosaurus unlocked, even though we've already got it. But hey, so... What do we win? Two th oh, a thousand bucks almost. It's so annoying. It's like up to 500 bucks and the, the, the highest or the lowest you can win is 485. The highest is 500, but you never win 500. And you, it's like, just give me the five bucks, damn it. There's a little bit of irritation. It's like, come on. Oh, look at all that. 2,600 VIP points. And I guess that's the reason why you would want to win the tournament pack on this is because you get more VIP points. I think. I don't know how much Evo Booster gets you. You know what? We'll do one more fight. We're, like, the same thing goes here for um, these battles. You just do that. Take that out. And you kind of want, like, a fairly decent dinosaur here because we, we are pretty high up. So I, I will use um, Super Kool-Aid here. Um, now, the reason why I do this, I mean, you've seen why, uh, because it just, it just seems to work. But in the tournaments, the reason why I do it, instead of using, you know, a fair, like the right team to take on their team, you know, like a level 24 silver or super rare. The reason why I go for two commons, like the weakest commons in the game, and then a really good dinosaur that I know I won't lose with, is just because it averages down. And as you'll see, the amount of trophies I win will... I mean, the minimum trophies you can win if you use an OP team is 20. Um, the highest trophies you can win, meaning that your team was very underpowered and you managed to win, is uh, 30 cups, I think. Maybe even 35? I'm not sure. I think 30 cups is the most. Um, so doing this tactic means that I guarantee a victory um, and my best creature, you know, if it, if it isn't any problem... I can um, go for a switch into Tijongasaurus and just fodder it off. Um, I was kind of hoping he wouldn't block all the way there, but he did. Wow, Concavenate is not even looking at Kool-Aid. <laughs> he's like, he's like looking in different, he's like a sheep. He's got a sheep's eyes and he's looking at the sides. He uh, looks a bit derpy, not gonna lie. Um, I'm just gonna go for three reserves just because uh, Pachy, what's it, Pachy Ceratops? Yeah, Pachyceratops. Pachyceratops can't really do anything. So, we're just gonna, just gonna, oh, oh well, it, it, you know what, it tried. Bless it, 1,700. All of its attack, and I'm hoping, I mean, even, even with two Chijongasauruses, my Super Kool-Aid here is really, like, overpowered in comparison to them. Um, a bit too much, so I might not, I might get, like, 24 cups. I wouldn't say 20, it's not that much. 26, yeah, so it, it still thought that it was a close fight. Um, 
I mean, if it thought it was an easy fight for me, it would have given me 20 cups. Oh, it'd be amazing to win the Kendrasaur pack. I'd love that. Eh, 75 DNA. Fair enough. I'll do that. But I don't mind winning the Evo booster. Um, I'd rather take the two legendaries and sell them both. Uh, Kendrasaurus. I'm, do I have Kendrasaurus? I'm sure I have Kendrasaurus. Hold on. I just want, just want a quick look. Uh, herbivores. Um, Antetokapelta, Dino Charis, Ehrlichosaurus, uh, Woohoosaurus, uh, there's Monostegatops. Oh, look at you. Um, uh, wait, where the hell's Kendrosaurus? Kendrosaurus is a tournament creature, right? So, would it have this shiny background? Pygronosaurus, Dinosaurus, Ehrlichosaurus, Saganosuchus, Nodosaurus, Kendrosaurus, there it is. So, Kendrosaurus, um, I think I've unlocked it. Yeah, I have. Okay. That was in the WWF packs ages ago. And then it came out as um, tournaments anyway. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, it's been a half an hour of loveliness. Thank you again for sticking with me and supporting this series. I love doing it and hopefully I'll keep you entertained for at least one more video. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>